go as of course having done conflict in, in my university i know women can do a lot in propagating for war and gaining peace so we are all here we are all ladies we know how we how we can go around men create war all of a sudden if we want to we can also rewind and get peace if we want to that is so and in any case if war comes it's only the ladies who suffer because you are carrying the bulk by yourself men are never there like now as we speak in Marsebe there is war in Baringo and in, in, in Pokot there is war who is suffering? only the ladies 80 percent women suffer so because it's us who suffer please let's pray and let's tell our boys our husbands our brothers that we lose them in the war we don't we never get them back so please let's please and please that's my 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 point my 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 plea let's pray for peace and let's always always talk about peace wherever we go and uh, Mamaida Karibu Mandera, inshallah ta'ala. We hope to see you in Mandera soon. And without and I was cautioned not to talk, not to take a lot of time. Because of time, I am humbled. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your wonderful remarks. Without much ado, on behalf of business women, Mobin Rana, kindly, Karibu Sana. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Mubin Rana, and um, I just wanted to first of all uh, recognize uh, Her Excellency uh, Aida Odinga for, for being here and uh, hosting us for this dinner. May God bless you, and we are so grateful on this month because this month is a month of blessing, and we pray that uh, out of your kindness of giving us food today that our prayers will be answered and whatever your heart desires, you'll get it. Okay, so um, just a quick background of who I am. Um, I'm not a politician, but I stand here on behalf of the business ladies. Um, I've been in the business field for the last 30 years, and I, I run a travel agency. Unfortunately, in the business sector, we find that uh, being a Muslim woman and being in the business sector, there's a lot of competition with our fellow uh, men. And I want to co commend Amina Hersi to just say that, yes, we are really, really being... Um, um, sub, uh, sublined and I feel if Baba would listen to our, our plea to try and see how we can be supported as business ladies um, there is a certain uh, procurement uh, a requirement needed for women called ACPO and uh, it's not really working to our favor because I run an ACPO company with youth. I'm uh, a shareholder with my two daughters in a business. And unfortunately, it's just a name given to people that, oh, you know, you need an ACPO certificate for your children and youth and women. And this is not being recognized. So if this can be recognized, we would really appreciate because in the travel agency, the big people, the big fish and the big are the people who are the men. And they take most of the business from the government. So if that can be considered we'll really appreciate now thank you um just to just a background i come from kisumu nonyola <laughs> kisumu adima ber adima ber baben babawa wabrotere kucho nyasaye ntie kodo aya lakamano Thank you. That's the beauty 
of our republic, our diversity. Allow me to invite on behalf of commissioners, a member of the Intergovernmental Relations Technical Committee, Sadia Kontoma. <laughs> Kindly. Your Excellency, Mama Aida Odinga, Honorable Fatuma, Ambassador, all protocols observed. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum again. Uh, I stand before you this evening as a Muslim sister and as a professional. I'm a professional by teacher and I'm glad to share the professional with our incoming First Lady Mama Aida Odinga. That is the power of teachers. First Lady Mandera County is also a teacher. You can clap for her. Thank you so much. I want to take this opportunity to appreciate the presence of all Muslim sisters here. This invitation has come timely. This is a holy month. These are the last days of the Ramadan. All our prayers shall be accepted. We as Muslims, professionals, we are very grateful to the support that you have given us as sisters. I want to assure you, Mama Ida Odinga, our sister, our mother, that when you have Honorable Fatuma next to you, you have our votes. Yay! Those of us from Wajia County, and I believe also from Mandera County, because that's where she started her profession. She has also worked in Garissa County, if I'm not wrong. And she is also a very strong member from Garissa County. Find out and you'll get to know. Mama Ida, Fatuma has, pray, has played a very critical role in mentoring many, many of us. When I went for the first interview, as Teacher Service Commission, I was a lecturer at Kenyatta University. The person who hold my hand is Fatuma, Honorable Fatuma Ibrahim. She hold my hand, and during that time was during the Mkatenusu time. She hold my hand, and she took me to Baba Raila Moloding. Together with Honorable Elmi. Fatuma, you can remember. During my second interview at Intergovernmental Relations Technical Committee, she also played a very critical role. Therefore, we are all indebted. Me, my family, and all my friends are indebted to Fatuma, who is also indebted to you, Mama Ida Odinga. There is no doubt about that. Therefore, we want to assure you our support, and we will do everything possible within our means to ensure that we achieve our dreams. Too close, inshallah, with the will of God. It's not far. Our major, our main request to you is you consider the professionals, the Muslim professionals. If you look around, we have several independent commissions, but I think we are about three or four of us from the Muslim community, just a few. We would wish to get a good portion of those independent commissions, a good portion of Judiciary Service Commission also, where we shall even get our own judges. I'm not going contrary to issues of the Qadis. I've not mentioned that. Please don't misquote me. But we would wish to be given an opportunity to also participate in all other development, development areas. Thank you so much. I won't take much. I wish you well. Ramadan Mubarak. As you go to pray for your, these last 10 days, please remember our nation. Let's pray for our nation. Let's pray for peace. Let's pray that we all cross and move over after this Ramadan in one peace. God bless you. God bless Kenya. And God bless everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, Commissioner. On behalf of the youth, Your Excellency, allow me to invite Malun Ali 
to speak to us karibu Excellency Dr. Mamaida Odinga, all the leaders from Northern Kenya, my fellow youth, Muslims, uh, sisters Muslims, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Amaliyun Ali, ODM, National Youth Leader. Uh, Her Excellency, Tunakwambia Karibu Sana, ODM Fraternity call you Minpini. Who knows Minpini? <laughs> mother, of, mother of the country we call her like that baba is baba for everyone mama tunamuita minpini tunakwambia mama karibu sana i don't have much because i had been walking around i think all of you have seen me uh, i'm not speaking much but i just want to say karibu ni sana uh, we muslim community we don't want to be followers we want to be partners to his excellency raila mulodinga's government and that says um, that tunasema pia we want to be part of the great revolution that this country is about to experience that is the third and the final liberation the economic liberation we women of northern kenya rather the the entire northern kenya they call us the marginalized community we are tired of being called marginalized community we don't lack education skills we don't lack leadership skills rather we are ladies uh, we are around uh, the major people who will be voting can we vote nicely by voting his excellency raila amolo odinga the fifth lastly her excellency uh, a lot of challenges for the young women in northern kenya had been um, the negotiated democracy that really giving us a hard time by having coming up with a lineup i was to vie for the women rep of mandera county but because of my clan <laughs> i couldn't do that <laughs> uh, challenges of resource young women want to vie yes they want to show leadership skills but because of resources we were not able to vie otherwise now i'm be a karibuni sana i have a question in whose hands are we safe in whose hands are we safe? <laughs> Baba the fifth. Asante ni sana. Mungu wa bariki. Thank you, vibrant young lady. Your Excellency, the last speaker in this segment. Allow me to invite now Ambassador Rukia Subo. Welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Um, Mama Aida, uh, Mweshimua Fatuma, and many other ladies who are here tonight, I won't speak long. I just want to give you history. I'm also few advices to the ladies who spoke here. As a senior mother, as a politician, as a grandmother and a mother. I knew Ida, not today, but many years, because she was involved in organizations where all of us met several times. This lady called Ida, she's a brave woman, very brave woman. And we have learned a lot from her, her bravery. One time we went to Egypt. 
we were in the same delegation. We went to see the pyramids. You know, pyramids, they are man uh, mummified uh, graves. When we went there, I told Mama, I don't know if she remembers, I won't go inside there. Because you have to go down, you'll see those coffins, the pharaoh and those things. I told her I'm not going in there, but she said I will go. I told her don't go, it is very dark, you might fall there. She says no, I came here to see you and I will go in. And she went there. One time we met also in China. We came from very far. And she's the one who taught us the women should be very aggressive and very resilient. Those are a few stories I want to tell about Bamaida and why she has Baba. She made Baba who he is. Every woman makes her husband what he is. There are, there are women who make their husbands very weak and very low. There are women where they speak, their husband never speaks. Siwako? Wako wengi sana. So Mama Aida, ndiyo ametengesa baba. Mimi yangu ile ninasema ni kidogo. The lady who spoke here and said she is not a politician. The lady who was talking about Qadi and Islamic. They, I forgot her name. Amina Hirsi. Let me advise you. You said you are third wife. I'm first wife. And let me advise the young women, Muslim women here. Don't go for ready-made men. Go for your own and start from down here. And bring them where you want to be. That is only on a, on a, a note. Mama Aida, I want to say this. This month of Ramadan, we are celebrating here, taking dinner. in their homes is very painful please let us not only Mama Aida and the government we as a Muslim women let us come together and try to help these women some of us has tried but you cannot feed everybody you don't have that resource to reach people on the ground and we hope and pray that the government has given a lot of money to drought uh, stricken areas but those kinds of food all are not found on the ground I don't know what is happening His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta has called this disaster, uh, drought as a disaster and he has national disaster he has given a lot of money but the money is not felt on the ground I don't know what is happening. This is happening because the women are not involved. Everything is given to males or men on the ground. They are the ones who are drivers. They are the ones who are waving those flags. But the food is not reaching. We need new way of distribution. Let the women on the ground form committees where this food can reach everyone. That is one. 
the few I want to advise Amina Hirsi. She spoke about Qadis and Subkem. The best thing to do to work with those issues, form a small committee in Muslim women who are strong women and go to the soup camp. Talk to them about the issues you are talking about now. That is one. We need the women to speak up. She spoke up, but I need those actions to be taken by the Qadi himself and also Subkem. Because we know there are no women members in those places. We don't need Qadi, as you said, but we need a counselor in that office where women sit and there are many women who go to that office and they leave without talking because they fear the men. But if there was a woman counselor in that office, she will listen to the women and discuss the issues which is facing her. We need that. The other one, we are appreciating the Kenya government and Mze Raila Odinga. Me and Fatuma, we have been in the constitution making. Kadi's office are only supposed to deal with three issues. That is marriage, divorce, and inheritance. Any other issue, they will not deal with it. If there are other issues like marriages, these holiday women, holiday wives, Madam Aida, Salamia Mze Sana, Muambie, not Rukia Subo, <laughs> because he knows me, Na Mama Aida Nanijua. These Muslim women are professionals, they will support him. We are only requesting when Baba comes in and we know he's coming in. Give us a chance to speak to you yes. 
when he comes in we talk to him whatever we are talking now unajua sasa tunaongea tu fwa lakini by that time we'll have precisely what to write and what to request lakini sasa tukiongea tunaongea tu lakini wakati huo tunajua mzee akija because our friend is there mama ataongea na yeye huko chini chini will be accepted kwa hayo ninataka kusema asanti msalamie mzee sana kila kila heri tuko na wewe tutakuwa na yeye na kuna kina mama wengi hawako town wako katika rural area i'm requesting the ladies who are here if you are campaigning on the ground please go to those women and tell them there is someone called baba and there is mama also thank you thank you ambassador may we accord another round of applause asante sana your excellency now may i invite honorable fatuma ibrahim a member of the east africa legislative assembly to among other things recognize the women aspirants and also invite you to address this gathering karibu mheshimiwa Tosha tosha Bismillah assalamu alaikum uh, thank you all our uh, sisters and i want to thank her excellency uh, dr aida for hosting this uh, iftar and remembering the muslim women uh, i want to recognize and appreciate the the women aspirants mps uh, if there are any senators mcs and i want them to stand up the women aspirants for all of them to stand up so that we appreciate you women mcs mcs anyone who is an mca aspirant karibuni thank you i know many of you are odm yeah mufanye kasi na mujenge baba vizuri any women reps Women reps they can stand up all oh, asimio even asimio i can see bray i can see suli i can see malion from madera i can see her i can see udgon from garissa i can see kiman who just spoke Halima Shina Halima Daud Who else is there? Oh Fatiha Mahabub I've already mentioned Suli Suli Abdulwahid Amina Hassan Ahmed and a contest senator Fatiha Mahabub who was with us in the 11th parliament She's trying again I know 
I, I had my name, but I had to come forward. Which one are you? Amina Abdullahi Muhammad from Garissa County. Amina Abdullahi Muhammad from Garissa County. <laughs> Fatuma Samo, Mandera County. <laughs> Fatuma Samo. <laughs> uh, Sahara Ahmed Hilo, women rep candidate for Mandera. <laughs> Asimio. Rahma Gulia, who was in New Day, who defected to uh, Jubilee. Karibu Rahma. Deka Ali. Kala MP Mandera. Halima Shina. Halima Ali Shina. Women aspirant for Wajia. I also want to recognize uh, Amina Siyad Udgon. Udgon. Yeah. We want all the kuras for Baba. Yeah. Thank you. Halima. Where is Halima? Our party official. Halima, where are you? Why are you hiding yourself? Halima is the, in the women's league, and uh, <laughs> uh, Melun, she is in the national league, the national youth league. Yes, yeah. Fatia, yeah. she is the one of the secretaries of I want to recognize also Halima, who has taken a lion's share in organizing these activities and printing all the materials we have. Can we clap for all those ladies? I want to give this opportunity to the women, the Senate aspirant, Amina Hassan. <laughs> Amina, you have to be brief. Salam alaikum. Um, Assalamu alaikum once again. Mama Ida, our first incoming first lady, Mama Ambassador Rukia, my mentor, my sister, my elder sister, Mweshimua Fatuma. I was one class ahead of Fatuma, in, we were in the same school, by the way. So I was one class ahead of her, and I'm happy now she's here uh, with you. And she has been with ODM all throughout. And I would like also to recognize all aspirants from all the counties here, Muslim aspirants. Thank you, Mama Aida. My names are Amina Hassan Ahmed. I think we met earlier. I am aspiring for Senator Mandela County. <laughs> Mama Aida, I tried my luck in 2013 and 2017. For the position of women rep, I think it was not my time. Allah did not accept me that time. This time, uh, my votes that time, 2017, I got 40,000 votes. I hope this time I'm going for the senator position for Madera County. It is the first time a Somali lady from northern Kenya is going for these positions outside women rep. Yeah. I don't know why we are fearing these positions. The constitution allows us, like other women from other parts of the country, to contest for governor, for senator, for women rep, and for members of assembly. I mean members for national assembly and senate. I'm happy today in Mandera, we have two women who are aspiring for member of National Assembly, Deka Ali, who is aspiring for Madera East. And we have a lady, I don't know which party she is, Amran Wardere. UDA. She's in UDA, I'm sorry, but she's a lady. We need to appreciate wherever they are, they are women. So we have those women who are going beyond the women reposition. Mama Aida, I think... Uh, as you can see, the Muslim women here, first of all, we need to appreciate for hosting us. 
and giving us that uh, this respect of ho hosting this iftar program once in the islamic and the quran says once you 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 have somebody to break the fast you are blessed so already the blessing is there and we assure you you are coming in have no worry that again today is we are starting tonight the last 10 days of the of the ramadan which is very important it is more benef um, beneficiable than the other days uh, some of us are directly from here going to the mosque to stay there 10 days and to make sure we pray for the peace of this country and for baba to come in we are sure 9th of august you are going to become our first fifth first lady of this country of kenya Mama Ida, I just want to be short because my sister has given me that respect. But I want to tell my sisters, uh, let us pray hard. Let us pray a lot for the peace of this country. That is most, the most important thing. You know what happened in 2007? We don't want that one to happen again. So please let's pray for the peace of the country. And let us pray for the person who has brought this democracy to this country. We need to give him a time. We need to give him support. We need to, to appreciate him. So this time, let us give Baba uh, Raila Omolo, Omolo Odinga to be our fifth president. And therefore, we are going to be very happy to have Mama Aida. I would like to, uh, uh, I would like to talk about what happened. The last one, Mama Aida, I would like to appreciate the way you respected our religion. What happened at Uda some few days ago, is it a day ago, at an iftar program, is not something that is allowed by our religion. We need to talk about that. It is not allowed, we are not allowed, if we are from different faiths, to stand in the same line, to pray, to pretend that you are praying and not, you are not a Muslim. It's not allowed. So I think the best was for them to dress, sit somewhere, wait for the Muslims to pray, and then they join. You did not do that. You really respected us. You respected this religion. Mama Ida, we really have that, that respect for you, for giving us that respect. As Muslim sisters, are we condemning that? The religion does not allow that. What happened at, at Iftar of UDA, we are not allowing that. Otherwise, my sister, those who are aspiring, uh, let us go for the seats. Don't fear. Mama Ida, I need your support. I am the only senator contesting in Mandera, Wajia, Garissa. I am fighting men. Please, I need your support. Please support me. Hello, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. I think now we, as the invited guest, the Muslim sisters, we have spoken enough, isn't it? I want to uh, beg for the votes for Baba, inshallah, uh, August the 9th. Because what we are all looking for is votes. And we want Baba to be the fifth president, inshallah. What you are requesting, Mama, she can only do it after August, after her husband, our Baba, our president wins the election, isn't it? Yeah, so we need your support. All your, your requests and demands can only be fulfilled that time. Uh, Honorable Her Excellency Dr. Aida Odinga, this is your time. I want to recognize there is only one chief here, who is the chief of Isli, Juahir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jawahir. Yeah? And my daughter, she's a Dio in uh, Kamkunji, Karibuni. I know you are a civil servant, you are not allowed, but you love uh, Baba and his family. We need your support, mobilize people for us in Isli and your jurisdiction. I want to say one, two few words. I think many people talked about Mama Ida. Mama Ida, when we were in Bomas, she was the chair of League of Women Voters. That time, when we were delegates, Mama Rukia was there, she used to target women delegates 
who are representing northern Kenya to, you know, train them, to support them, to give them expert support so that they articulate their issues. Any time we had a problem in Bomas, Baba was with us. When he, we say, Cardi Scott, and we talk to him, he says, yes, Cardi Scott must be enhanced to the level of the magistrate. We fought for that. Many of the people refused Cardi Scott to be enhanced and uh, to recognize those three issues Mama Rukuya talked about, the inheritance, maintenance, marriage, and divorce, to be included in the, in the Constitution. But Baba was standing with us. Do you know that Baba nominated the first Muslim lady from coast to be a member of parliament, the first in the LDP party. The second one whom he nominated to be in the National Assembly was Honorable Safia Abdi from Northeastern. So you can see uh, the family of Dr. Aida and his excellent Raila Molo Odinga love women. He cares for women. He respects women. He listens to them. So when you support him, one time uh, somebody who was in the Ministry of Roads, when uh, his excellent Prime Minister was Minister for Roads, the first tarmac from Garissa to Modogashi was initiated by him. He was the brainchild. He said, why should not this time be no, no tarmac road? They are like any other taxpayers. They are Kenyans. They must have tarmac roads. And I know and I'm confident that we will have all corners of Nodis and Tarmac with his presidency. So we need your support. We need you to, lo to campaign for him and to talk to every each and every woman and a man, your daughters, your sons, your friends, your neighbors, to support Baba for the president. Mama Ida, we don't have much time. It's your time. Before that, we want to uh, grace you with a traditional outfit called shawl. And Mama Zainab and Mama Suad, come and honor Mama Ida. Mama Ida, the ladies, Halima, who is your vice chair in Baba, Sibunduki, is here with us. She has been running up and down to support us to make sure that uh, this function is successful. Ladies, thank you for supporting us. Please support Baba. Thank you. Baba, you
Tushuke. Asante sana. Asante. 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 Asante.